Hey guys, TechiKHD here again with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to color grade uh, in Final Cut Pro 10. Now the version of Final Cut Pro 10 that I am using is version 10.0.9. As you guys can see here, if I come to Final Cut Pro uh, and hit about Final Cut, it will say version 10.0.9. But this is fairly similar for most versions of Final Cut Pro 10, uh, except for the fact that instead of being uh, this little button here, it is going to be the inspector tool. Now I actually did film some clips really quick off my my Blue Yeti microphone just prior to recording this video um, because the lighting setup in my room right now at night uh, does have to do a lot with um uh, the yellow lighting in my room. I did turn on my white um, video lights in the background, but that is just for making it a little easier for my camera to capture video without being it, or without the video clips being too grainy. But even then, there is room for improvement. That's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here is grab one of our clips that we want to color correct. So I'm going to drag it down here into the timeline. Uh, and of course, this is a very short clip. That's why um, it is not really showing up as too much. They're all just like very short clips that I filmed uh, in a couple seconds just because I wanted to make this video really quick. Uh, and so what we're going to do is after we have our video clip in the timeline, uh, we are going to select the clip uh, by actually clicking on it, of course. Uh, I also just like to detach audio because I have audio scrubbing on and just distracts from the actual point of the video. As you guys can see, this is a video clip and not an image. Uh, so what we do is we're going to select the clip and come over here uh, to this little box on the right side, uh, which is the inspector basically. When you click on it, it's going to open up this window here on the right side. And basically what we're going to do is come over here. This is the main tab that we're going to be dealing with, uh, and it is called Color. Now, under this tab, we do have Correction 1, and you can actually match color. Uh, but I'm not going to be showing you guys match color today. I'm just going to be showing you how to do color correction. So what you're going to do is come over here to the Correction 1 tab and hit the little arrow on the right side. And it's going to give you these color adjustment features. There are three tabs at the top, Color, Saturation, and Exposure. Now, basically what you guys are going to do is you're gonna find a yellowish area and try to make that as you know more of a whitish or, or a bluish tone because you don't want to have a yellow in your video because that just doesn't look nice uh, but again this can be changed depending on what kind of effect you're trying to achieve uh, for me I like uh, more bluish or cooler shades of video and so I generally try to use more bluish uh, effects in my videos and so what you're gonna do is you have like these little guides here it's kind of like a key this is global this one is shadows this dot over here is midtones and this is highlights now for example if I want to make the highlights which are like these areas over here uh, and this stuff over here a lot bluer as you guys can see if I drag it up a lot of these a lot of the main areas where the highlights are turn bluish I can make them green red yellow whatever uh, now basically I don't really mind the highlights I think they look all right but generally as a rule of thumb I try to deal mostly with global because it is give the best overall effect now if I want to make this a little bluer I'm gonna drag it over here to the blue area and drag it up just a little bit and you guys will see uh, the changes start to occur you see a more uh, uniform bluish tint to the video which I think looks nice especially for when I'm making videos like these at night and I do have my yellow room lights on and I think that this looks pretty nice if you want to change and work with the shadows a little bit you guys can do that as well uh, you can turn not just up you can actually turn down uh, the amount of yellow so if I come down here I can actually turn down uh, the yellowish shadow areas like this area over here uh, but I'm just gonna leave that as it is because I don't really mind it I think it looks alright uh, again as I said before I generally tend just to deal with global now I think for me the perfect mix is somewhere between this blue and magenta area because I really do like that effect and as you guys can see, this looks a lot nicer than it did uh, before the effect was actually applied. Uh, so, like, without it being applied uh, is, like, here. And then with it being applied is somewhere uh, in this area. So what I'm just going to do is leave that like it is. Come over here to saturation. Now, you can either deal with the entire saturation as a whole and either oversaturate or undersaturate uh, a video clip. And I generally like to have it a little bit washed out because that's just me. I like how that looks. Um, 
And this is generally what I do with a lot of my videos. I just desaturate it all together. But again, you guys can deal with the with the shadows, highlights, and midtones individually if you so prefer. Finally, we can come over here to the exposure tab, which is again very similar to saturation, except uh, it's a little bit more simplified because it doesn't deal with color, but deals with the exposure and lighting compensation in your video as a whole, whether it be shadows, highlights, etc. Now, I like turning down my shadow uh, count a little bit because I actually like to see shadows in my videos. Uh, but if you guys don't want to or if you're in a very shadowy area and you were trying to film something else you can actually turn up this count and it's going to get rid of uh, the shadows for the most part now i think a good area to be work with is with the midtones slightly higher uh, your highlights a little bit lower in overexposed areas like this uh, and then your shadows just a wee bit down here uh, to try to create an overall really nice looking video now what I'm going to come uh, or do is come back here and as you guys can see after it has been applied, this is what the video looks like after the correction and when I selected this is what it looks like before. So there is a pretty noticeable difference and I think that after color correcting it is a lot more pleasing to the eye and does feel like an overall lot nicer and well shot, uh, better exposed and nicer video to the eye. Now of course I'm not going to be doing this for all the clips but this is for you guys to experiment with because in different situations uh, this actually could add Add to the effect of your video and make it look a lot better or in certain cases even a lot worse so you guys do want to play with this a little bit and see what suits your video the best uh, you can actually also save them as presets I have a preset here called yellow and white lights which is what I was shooting in right now and basically what it does is cool up the video a little bit as you guys can see my global area is over here in the blue sector now really guys, that does about conclude this video because this is very simple and basic and a lot of people actually do have trouble with this and I was wondering why that is. Uh, and so I actually just decided to make this quick video for you guys because I thought it would be useful for people to know uh, how to do this and make their videos look just a little bit better because I know when I had trouble with this, I found this type of tutorial very useful and I thought that you guys might as well. So anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, it would be awesome if you guys could leave it a like rating by hitting the little thumbs up button in the bottom left hand corner of this video. And for more videos like these as well as other tutorials, unboxings, reviews and much much more, please do remember to subscribe. It's free, it only takes a second and will keep you up to date with all my latest HD content. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and as always, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.